Hi, this is the second video in the playlist we're looking at where we're looking at rearranging a formula. This particular case, we've got this awful square root thing and we're being asked to make h the subject of the formula. So the first thing is we need to get rid of the square root. Now the opposite to a square root is a square. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to square both sides of the equal sign because if I do that it means on the right hand side a square and a square root cancel itself out so therefore I'm just going to left with 2h plus 1 over 3 and on the left hand side I've got m squared okay so now I need to find a way to get rid of this number three here because this is basically getting in my way. Remember that what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get H on its own. So if I multiply both sides by three, it just means I lose the denominator because the denominator three times three cancel themselves out. So on the right hand side, I'm going to get two H plus one. And on the left-hand side, I've got to do exactly the same by multiplying by 3, so I'm going to get 3m squared. Okay, so we're getting a little bit closer now. So what I'm going to do, just for the sake of space, I'm going to rewrite this again at the top here. 3m squared equals 2h plus 1. All right, so I mentioned before I've got to get h on its own, and what's getting in the way now is this plus 1. So like I did before, I just need to get rid of it by minusing it. But I've got it to do it to both sides of the equation. So if I minus 1 from both sides, on the right hand side I get 2h, which is great because it's getting closer to h on its own. On the left hand side I'm going to get 3m squared minus 1. Okay, now at the moment I've got two lots of h. So to get one lot of h I need to divide both sides through by 2. So if I divide this by 2, 2 divided by 2 is great, that just gives me h on its own, which is what I'm looking for. On the left hand side, I would write that as 3m squared minus 1, all divided by 2. Okay, you've got to remember that it's going to be all divided by 2, and that's that little note at the top here uh, where we talked about all being divided by 5. So if you're not sure about why I've written this as a fraction, Please do have a look back at video number one on this playlist and it will go through this. Okay, hope that's okay for you. I'm going to stop the video, move on to question number three in the next video. If you're not sure, please do add a comment below. I'll always help you. Have a look at some of the other playlists and other videos within the channel. I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.